Lesson 11.3 is find a trig ratio from a point. Directions, find an angle in each quadrant with each common reference angle given. If theta, it's a Greek symbol for angle. If theta is an angle in standard position and its terminal side passes through the point negative one, negative eight, find the exact value of tangent of theta in simplest radical form. So what we are now doing is still creating a triangle, but on a coordinate plane. So our point here is negative one, negative eight. I'm gonna go back one, down eight. Then what you wanna do is take from the origin, make a diagonal line to that point. And on Delta Math, I think it'll just make it for you. Then you are creating a triangle by making a leg go from that point to the X axis. So I'm just gonna extend it up. So see how this is my right angle here? So now my triangle looks like this. Okay, what is this length right here? See how I went back one? So this is negative one. This is down eight, so this is negative eight. And yes, include the negatives because <clears throat> we'll find out that these can change signs. And then we're doing tangent from theta. Theta is the angle inside the triangle formed with the x-axis, so right here. So we're going from here. Remember, SOHCAHTOA is opposite over adjacent. So I'm gonna have opposite over adjacent. I don't need to do Pythagorean theorem. I have exactly what I need. So tangent, we would say, of theta is um, eight over one, which is eight. Sorry, the directions confused me. These shouldn't be here. This was actually from up above. We have what we need to find. We're not finding the angle because <clears throat> we would have to do inverse tan. We're simply finding the exact value. So that means the ratio of the sides. So all we need to do is have this um, negative eight over negative one, which is eight. Okay. Let's try another one. If theta is an angle in standard position, so it just means our reference angle and everything, its terminal side passes through the point negative 12 comma 35. So let's think about what quadrant that's in. Having a negative x and a positive y would put you up here. Okay, that's quadrant two. Find the exact value of sine of theta. So we're gonna come from the origin and then connect a diagonal line. And then I need to drop down a leg that goes to the x-axis. <clears throat> so our theta, our angle here, is what we're talking about from here with the x-axis. Okay, <clears throat> so if you want to then take it off the coordinate plane, you can to help you have a little more room to write. Here's my angle, here's my 90. What is this side? What was this x value? That went back 12, so this is negative 12 here, and then it went up 35. So x should be the bottom leg, the y is the height. And I want sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse. So I need to do Pythagorean theorem, which will be negative 12 squared plus 35 squared equals x squared. I'm not even gonna do the negative, I just know 12 squared is 144 plus 35 squared, and then square root of that. Luckily, that comes out to be 37. <clears throat> okay, so then from there, sine of my angle from here is opposite over hypotenuse. So 35 over 37 is what I would plug in. And this is gonna be positive because I did not use the 12 which had the negative. I used my positive y, and then my hypotenuse will always end up being positive because in the Pythagorean theorem, I'm squaring negative things, which makes them positive.